Hey guys, did you know there's two types of friction when dealing with brake pads? You've got adhesion and you've got abrasion. And abrasion is probably what most people think of when it comes to uh, uh, thinking about brake pads. Abrasion is, for an example, when you, I'll say you grind or you sand something away. Um, it's the, the mechanical ripping of parts of or, or, or grinding of pieces away. And that can come through the compound of the brake pad itself. Um, and, and how the engineers design or develop that particular friction set. But it can also come from the, you know, kind of a mechanical form of the wave rotor of that edge, outer edge that's all cut and sharp as that moves across your pad, that'll cut and grind. Um, or even sometimes your slotted rotors will create a little bit of that um, uh, abrasion. And a lot of times with abrasion, you'll see increased wear, whether it's the, the pad material wearing out your rotors or it's the, you know, the, the pad material getting worn away by the rotor itself. The way I like to see things done is with adhesion. And that's one of the primary aspects of a lot of our pads. And that comes from the um, material in the pad itself being transferred to the cast iron rotor surface um, or the transfer layer. You have to remember that pads are under a tremendous amount of pressure and temperature when we're braking or when we're using the brakes in the in the vehicle. And that transfer layer of pad material to from from pad to rotor will create kind of a bond um, between the materials um, uh, between the material. And basically you can think of those bonds as what's giving you the strength or the, the control and, and the, the braking ability. So that material is trying to stick to itself as you're, as you're applying the brakes. And so a lot of times you'll see on the surface of the rotor, you'll see it discolor and kind of change as we're putting that transfer layer on there. So anytime someone goes through and, and grinds their pads or does something there, a lot of times that will scrape off the transfer layer and you'll have to rebed the pads um, again the brake performance comes in the compound that's put in, or the, the materials that are put in to create that particular compound of the, of the brake pad itself. So depending on what temperature range you're running, how much pressure you're running, um, obviously we gotta find the right friction compound to match that up with what you're seeing in your application. Um, needless to say, I hope this kinda helps you guys um, understand the difference between an abrasion and adhesion on the brake system. And uh, give us a call. Um, if you guys have questions, we can help you kind of talk through or think through the, the brake system and get you in the, headed in the right direction. Have a great day.